Okay, right now I'm going to explain you the use of triggers, atmosphere triggers, because I do not use all the triggers in the game. I'm just going to explain the ones we use for uh, environment and level creation. So you go to the root template again, and you try to find triggers. So these are all the types of triggers we have in the game. The ones you need for environment uh, levels are the atmosphere triggers, the AI seeders for a to generate AI, the camera lock to lock the camera on your level so that the, the player camera cannot travel to the outside of the world so you can position your trigger around the village. And then you have a region trigger, which is the trigger that generates the black shroud around the world. You know, the typical shroud that eats away when you walk towards it, just to cover the map in unknown territory. You can use those region triggers to um, set different regions. So when you're over here, you, do not, you don't see the shroud on the village. Imagine that I build some kind of basement over here and I want to... I, want, I don't want you to see the rest of the map when you're in here. You can use those region triggers. Let's start by doing an atmosphere trigger. So sometimes you want the atmosphere to change in game. So you could say like I'm in the village and I go into the forest and I want the atmosphere to change. So what I do is I place one. So first you select your trigger in the in the trigger panel and then you hide and show the triggers like this. So you can do select all, deselect all. But right now I want to only see the atmosphere trigger, so I do that. And with this icon you can show or hide the atmosphere trigger. Let's show it for now. And then I set the physics type of the of the trigger is now set to polygon, but you can change that to box, sphere or nothing. So what you can do is now put it to polygon and then you have some tools up here. You press the plus and now it's going to create a trigger. He puts the points and then I have to press the button. Right now I have a trigger. I can set the height of the trigger also in the sidebar. Let's say 30. And then I select the hand and I can move the points around to adjust the trigger. Say I want the village to be dark. You can always add points by pressing the pressing this button, insert control points. So I just click here and put one here. And now I can move those around as well. In also in the sidebar you can set the kind of atmosphere you want to trigger. So you created an atmosphere, one of these, let's say I create in that two and I activate that, I can set the fade time to let's say six, and then when I walk with my character inside the trigger box, the atmosphere will fade over time, over six seconds, it will transform into undead. So I just put down my character over here, I save, I hide the button, so and I go in game, Normally, the atmosphere should change gradually. When I go to the village. So you saw, now it starts sh changing. You see that on the shadows because I have different sun angles in the two uh, atmospheres. So that looks a bit weird. But it starts raining and the lights change and it becomes dark and the fog comes up. That's a cool way to uh, dress up your... Um, your levels, but you have to find the right settings, obviously, to make it work. The other one would be the camera lock, which which works this exactly the same way. So you just go to uh, root template. You just say, "I want to have a camera lock." Put it there, and then I have to again open the trigger panel open the filter, deselect all, select the camera lock, and then view that. So now I see it's a box. You can also, a, a trigger could also be a box, of course, so you can just select it again, I guess. 
at the camera lock. You can set the, 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 the size of the box manually. Or you can transform it into a polygon trigger. So now you just click the, and then you can add your control points again. Just set the height of the trigger. You can see that the atmosphere trigger and the camera lock have different settings. So every every aspect of the game keeps their settings in the sidebar. So I'll just put this here, and if what if I put my characters here and I start the game? Save. And then my camera is locked inside the trigger, as you can see. The shroud trigger works exactly the same way. So I can select, I can have to find the shroud, uh, the region trigger, which creates the shroud. Now I select this one. Let's say I make this one a box to make it faster. Select the object in the sidebar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I select the object in the sidebar. So I select the trigger option in the sidebar and I can set the triggers again. Let's see, then. And I visualize them. So this is the region trigger I created. So I set the, no, it doesn't really matter for now. So I'll put my characters back, I'll put it here. So all, everything that's inside the trigger will be shown and everything outside will be black. You just have to make sure that your characters cannot walk through, because then, like in this case, it breaks. It breaks two ways. And this will conclude the uh, environment triggers tutorial.